What's up guys, this is Harthik here. So as you guys know, I've already made a video on the Nexus 5X running Android P ROM. Uh, that was in the alpha state and not really stable. But today, as I mentioned in my previous video, they did merge with the Pixel 2 ROM. And now we have a pretty stable build of the Android P ROM for the Nexus 5X. So yeah, I'm really excited for it. And without any further ado, let's get started. So first thing as you'll notice here uh, is the pill down at the bottom. So it was enabled by default. But again, for the reason, uh, I'll go into the settings, scroll down to system. Uh, and I'll go into the about phone. And it says Nexus 5X, not a pixel. So that's a good thing. Uh, scroll down to Android P. And as you guys can see, it says Android P. Uh, so that is a really, really good thing. Also, uh, going back, we have swipe once for the uh, recent menu and swipe again for the app drawer. So that is also present right over here. So the previous video I made had a lot of bugs. Uh, so I think everything is fixed here. Uh, I'll just leave the XDA link in the description below. So do check out for the known issues as well. Uh, but yeah, going into settings, we'll just check out few things over here. Uh, so I think the network and internet and the devices uh, will be the same also the apps and notifications but if you're going to display i want to see if the dark theme does work because in the previous video that i made uh, the dark theme was not working so if i go home now there you go as you can see it is now <laughs> enabled and it is working pretty pretty fine so you can see it is working fine here as well uh, so that's a good thing then into ambient display uh, it is always on you could disable it if you want but or enable it whatever you want then if you go back we have adaptive brightness uh and finally we do have it in the previous build this was not available uh but now it is available right over here uh, i want to see if the adaptive battery is there as well so there you go as you can see the adaptive battery is present here as well so that is again a really good thing so battery percentage and going back we have sounds and if you go into systems real quick we have gestures and the swipe on home button was enabled by default but if you want the three buttons you could enable that or you could just enable the swipe on home so the thing here is if you enable that you now have the option to scroll through the uh, pages by tapping and holding on the uh, home button itself so as you can see if i enable the dialer and camera and i think the camera should be a pixel 2 camera let's see so if I enable that again, okay, it's force closing for some reason. We'll just check it out again. So camera, okay, the camera app is stopping for some reason. Uh, if we go into this and we force stop it, let's see if it enables it right away. So taking a selfie. Okay, so it's force closing. So camera for now is not working. Not a deal breaker, but yeah, just a thing to know. Uh, then again, as you can see here, we have all the stock google apps and nothing else but also the pixel launcher here uh, i did not add any account so the apps are not updated uh, but if you add an account in this you'll get all the updated apps and stuff but as of now this is the rom itself so now we'll see if the cutout works here or not so going to system and going into about nexus 5x scrolling down to build number tapping it and then going to developer options Scrolling down, see the secondary display. So there you go. We have the tall display cut out right over here. And as you can see, we do get it. So yeah, I think everything is working fine. It has been ported from the Pixel 2. And uh, I don't think there's any now listening uh, things or something like that. Uh, but if you go into sound real quick, let's see if you do have it. And no. So there's no uh now listening or now playing or anything like that as of now but yeah i think i i think they might add it in the future because this is like a really good rom and it is actually pretty stable so by default uh, the wallpaper uh, came with this was of the live universe so it was the waves so yeah this one and the device was pretty pretty laggy when uh, playing the live wallpaper so as you can see uh, it does stutter a bit not not a lot though but it actually as you can see the 
60 fps is not present over here so the frames d does drop when applying a live wallpaper but other than that everything has been pretty smooth and yeah i'll definitely make another video uh, or updated video on it if they release it in the future but as of now you if you want to try it or if you want to use it i'll say you try it like if you don't need the camera <laughs> like everyone does need the camera but if you want to test this rom uh, this is pretty stable and i will definitely recommend you to try this out on your nexus 5x so as for now that's been it uh, this is rom itself and Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And again, more videos on this ROM coming soon in the future. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next one.